Hello everyone, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Mobile Gadgeteer. And in my hands, of course, I have my favorite Barnes & Noble Nook. And um, it has the new firmware 1.2 on it. So I just kind of wanted to show you a couple of the improvements. Of course, since I've upgraded, I no longer have access to the, the old firmware to show you side by side. But you can see some of my old videos and, uh, and see what it looked like. So to start off with, along the bottom, let me just get a little closer here. On the bottom, the, uh, the icons have changed a bit, and the font's a little bit different on the uh, on the color display down at the bottom now. They still say the same thing, the daily, my library, shop, reading now, and settings, but uh, just a little bit different look to them. Uh, let's see. Let me just jump into my library. So up top, you can see there's my documents, and in the past, um, a lot of these documents are books that I bought either through e-reader or FictionWise or um, I don't know if I have any of my own PDFs in there now but pretty much e-reader and FictionWise and, and some other things like that and uh, these some of these used to have uh, some of the titles used to be a bit messed up and all these are now fixed in this latest firmware so let's go to the Barnes & Noble library and so now I'll switch to my Barnes & Noble library and you'll be able to see and let me see if I can get a little closer here See if you can see that. Uh, up to there, to getting things done, you can see it says Lend Me. and has a little icon there of uh, two books swapping. And then the other ones say Sample or New and things like that. So there's a new Lend Me that um, lets you know exactly what books are able to be loaned to people. And then bouncing down here at the bottom, a nice um, improvement that I personally like is these buttons down here at the bottom are now quite large over here these up and down navigation buttons they were uh, they were pretty small before you'd have to kinda make sure you'd hit them but these are are much uh, much nicer bigger buttons down at the bottom um, nothing really in the oh in the menu let's see uh, sort most recent title author I don't think that's new maybe it is in the my documents because that now you can also um, you can also sort by title and author I don't know, I can't remember before what it was sorted by. Let's see, what else has improved? Uh, shopping, they've added some new content for in the Barnes & Noble store. I won't be able to test that until I actually get to um, the store next week. Uh, reading now, I'll just jump to a book here. Um, let's see, I'll show you kind of page turn speeds. I don't, it, it has changed a bit. It was fine for me last time. So you get to the bottom, go to the next page, push the button. Pretty fast, I mean, it's, it's pretty typical for... Uh, for an e-ink display and I have to say it's I have to time it but I think before when it first launched I had a little over two seconds um, push, after pushing the button now it's it's within a second ready and go one you know a second second and a half it's it's as fast I think as any other e-ink display as you can see it's uh, it's really not an issue if you if you want the e-ink you're gonna get some kind of a flash leg and page turning and now it's it's just as fast as every other device so that's no longer an issue never was for me anyway uh, let's see jump back to the uh, to the uh, to the store shop real quick you know what I uh, we'll, we'll look at that in just a second I actually just purchased a, uh, a book or a newspaper my first issue So that's pretty much the same. You got the ads at the bottom, uh, the changes, uh, wish list, browse, collections, things like that. Let's see. Um, my library, I guess it is now. And I ordered my Barnes & Noble library. As you can see, it's it's pretty responsive. I mean, it jumps back and forth, no problem. Let's go down to the Washington Times that I just ordered. Now, I haven't seen what a newspaper looks like on this device. I wanted to kind of try an issue, so I bought one uh, one issue to try. So now you'll see how long it takes to open that newspaper. As we're seeing it starting up here. So there it is, uh, Washington Times. And it says 100, 1 out of 198 pages. Yeah, that's pretty nice. The pictures look, uh, look pretty nice on the e-ink, actually. I'll have to go through and actually read it. Maybe I'll subscribe to a newspaper pretty soon. I haven't seen a lot of content as far as newspapers or... Um, or magazines being added. I think there's still 11 magazines and 20-something uh, newspapers or something like that. But that's it. Uh, a few improvements in uh, the new version. Um, 
I've always thought it was a great e-ink device as it was, and now it's even better, in my opinion. I like the big buttons primarily is, is my big deal on, uh, on the bottom. And if you didn't see my picture, I actually met David Allen and had, uh, had him sign it. So it says, Matt, all the best, David Allen, on the back of my nook. Thanks for watching.